So I'm going to show you guys how to make a, a command. I want to explain something to you in this first, though. This command right here that's a follower command is the same that any command will be on the chat. So the command section, if I'm on a event section, the timer section, which means that it's going to keep repeating it, you know, over time, every two minutes or whatever interval I want. Anywhere you're at in this system, the commands are built exactly the same. So once you learn how to build one alert, you can replicate simple base follow command with just a chat message and an image. For anybody trying to add alerts to their stream, I highly recommend this versus using like um, a browser source, stream elements or something like that. Just because you're already using the bot anyway to run the channel interactions and everything. It's all in one place. Events, channel followed, and you click right here. This is where you're going to build your follower command. We already have it built, so we're going to do a, a test one for you guys to see. An example one here. And we're going to do this as a custom command, okay? New command. We're going to call this one follow test. Okay? Be our command. Chat trigger is going to be FT for follow test. Here we're going to add a chat message. So you go all the way down to the bottom here where the action's at. This actions, there's plenty of different actions to play with, but I prefer using the chat message. I also prefer using image and video. What you're going to do is you're going to grab a chat message from the top. You're going to click add. Now, there's something called variables, and we're going to show you the easiest variable to use, and that's username. So whoever runs this command now, or whoever follows, it'll pull their name for you. Click special identifiers. It brings you to this web page here, the GitHub, or mix it up, okay? Now, these are all your variable lists, different queues of it. These are just for the user itself. Dollar sign username is the variable. Dollar sign username will now pull that username there. So if I type dollar sign username has followed, it's gonna say username has followed. So if Gavin follows, it'll be Gavin has followed. So there's our chat message. It's set up. We know it's there. We can test it by clicking play right here, which is great. Oh, if we don't like it, we can delete it over here. We can shut it off right there. We can move it down and up here, okay? This is to duplicate it. So if we want two chat messages, we can do two. You can duplicate it and change one. Turn that one back on. That's working out right. Now let's go find ourselves. Images and videos, overlay images and videos. We're gonna add one of these, okay? I think we're going to go with ourselves a action. We're going to use an image. So up here at the top, you can pick what you want it to be on the image and overlay. You can choose it to be a text, a video, a YouTube, a web page. You know, if you want a web page to be your follow alert, that's totally cool. Um, I prefer, you know, images myself. Sometimes you'll see me use text in the screen, which will put text across the screen. You can have it as well as using the variables here. So if you wanted to set up a image, you go to browse, pick your uh, pick your image you want to come up for your alert. There's a good image right there. You can choose your width right here. We're gonna go 300, we're gonna be wider, and then we're gonna go 200 high. All that good, just to see. We're gonna leave it in the center of the screen right now just to test it, okay guys? I wanted to run for Six seconds, okay? Sounds good to me. It could be as long as you want. Entrance animation, we want it just a basic fade in. We want it to, you can do all different kinds of stuff, of course. We want it to basic fade out though. We're not going with nothing too crazy. No visible animations. Duration, six seconds. To test it, you click the little play button at the top. It pops up on the screen right in front of me. Perfect. I think I want it a little bit bigger. I think I think we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to double the size of it. We're going to go 600 by 300. Okay. Now we're going to play it again. Look at that. So we got a new nation there. All right. That worked out well. That worked out well. Okay, guys. So now there's, there's a follower image. There's a follower or chat message. I don't really like the placement of this. Though. So let's move it. Let's make this a little bit better. Now, you could do a simple placement by just adjusting up, down, left, right. You know, and it'll play somewhere different in the screen now. It's going to play on the, on the left side, lower left. It's going to play in the middle. 
okay? But I think we're going to we're going to custom place it. So we decided we're going to go to a percentage. Now with a percentage, this is position from left, of course, and then this is uh, position from top. Now this is going to move it in the screen for you wherever you want it. You'll see here that I can bring it left, move it right. I can pick it up, move it down. Okay, so we move it all over the place. We want it to be on the top left, I think, would be good. Yeah, look at that. We're in the top left now. And if we want to adjust it later, we can. Okay, so we got it fading in, fading out. We got the size set right. We have the duration set right. Everything's set good there. Go find ourselves a quick little sound. Let's, let's show you guys how to add a sound file to this. You find sound down here, guys, and now you have sound. You click the add button, and boom. It adds it in, but now you got to go find your sound. Now, what I highly recommend for anybody using Mix It Up, start a file on your PC, dedicate it strictly for the Mix It Up, or for streaming, and then have a section for Mix It Up. Um, we take your sound file now, and we hit Browse. We're gonna go find the sound that we have in our uh, desktop here. I have a section just for my streaming stuff. And let's make an aluminum can opener sound. That would be good. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. So there's the image. There's the sound. And there's the chat message, guys. Now, when you throw all three of these together, there's your follow alert. User role. We're going to set it to a, a follower, mod, whatever you want to be able to use it. Okay, guys? And then over here, you can set your your um, your cooldown, everything like that. But that that's not that's not needed for the follower alert per se. User threshold. I've never messed with the arguments myself. Currency, rank, and inventory. And then you click save. And then now, if I click exclamation mark, follow test. There's the alert, there's the sound, and there's the chat message. And we're able to make all three of them work together. Gavin, I hope this helps you, and I hope this helps you guys out there in the streaming world. We're going to cut this down for these guys. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the video.